Hello Smart Kid, welcome to phase one of the Abacus Adventures training program. You will learn and master the concept of addition and subtraction in this phase. One important thing, before phase one ends, you are required to master the multiplication tables of two to nine in dodge method or random recall method so that you are ready to learn the concept of multiplication in phase two. Let's start with week one, sheet one of our training program. Please use a computer or laptop with Microsoft Excel installed on it to solve the sheet. Also make sure you have enabled the macros from the computer settings. This is the first worksheet of our training program. Let's uh, type in the name first. date of birth the attempt mode is already selected here the concept being taught here is lower deck direct method so we're going to use the lower deck on the one rod on the abacus tool let's clear the abacus tool first hold the four corners of the tool lift it tilt it Put it back, pinch and apply. The tool is ready to solve the questions and our worksheet is also ready. Let's solve the first question. Click the first answer box and the question contains three numbers. The first number is plus one followed by plus two and plus one. Let's understand the lower beads on the once rod first. So this middlemost rod is the once rod on this abacus tool and these are the four lower beads. Each bead has a value of one. The abacus acquires a value when the beads touch the beam. So right now the abacus tool has a zero value on it. Let's solve the first question and understand the lower beads on the once rod. First question has plus one as the first value. So let's push one bead up with the right hand thumb and say plus one. Now the answer on this abacus tool is one. This is the partial answer because the question is not yet complete. And the next value in the question is plus two. So let's push two beads up together with the right hand thumb and say plus two. Now the partial answer is three. And the last value in the question is plus one. So push one bead up with the thumb and say plus one. This is the final answer, four. So let's clear and type four. The answer is correct. Let's move on to question number two. It's highlighted in yellow now. The first number in question number two is plus two. So I'll use my thumb again, plus two. The answer is two because two beads are touching the beam now. The next value in the question is minus one. So I will use my index finger to subtract minus one. Now the answer is one. The partial answer is one because only one bead is touching the beam now. And the final value in the question is plus two. So I'll push two beads up with the thumb and say plus two. So the final answer is three. Clear and type three followed by clicking the right arrow key on the keyboard. All right, we have reached question number three now. And the first value here is plus three. Plus three with the right hand thumb. The answer is three now. Next value is plus one. So I'll push one bead up, plus one. The answer is four. This is the partial answer. And the last value in the question is minus one. So I will use my index finger, right index finger to subtract one. And I will say minus one. The final answer is three because three beads are touching the beam now. So let's clear and type three. We always clear the abacus tool before solving the next question so that the tool is ready to solve the question. All right, the tool has a zero value again and we have reached question number four. 
the first value is 3 so I will say plus 3 the answer is 3 next value is minus 3 I will use my index finger again minus 3 the answer is 0 and the final value is plus 2 so the final result is 2 clear and type 2 question number 5 plus 2 the answer is 2 plus 2 again the answer is 4 minus 1 the answer is 3 clear and type 3 question number 6 now plus 4 the answer is 4 minus 2 the answer is 2 plus 1 the final result is 3 clear and type 3 question number 7 plus 1 the answer is 1 plus 3 the answer is 4 minus 2 the final value is 2 clear and type 2 question 8 plus 2 the answer is 2 minus 2 the answer is 0 plus 1 this is the final result clear and type 1 question number 9 plus 4 the answer is 4 minus 1 the answer is 3 plus 1 the final result is 4 clear and type 4 question number 10 plus 3 the answer is 3 minus 1 the answer is 2 plus 1 the answer is 3 clear and type 3 question number 11 plus 1 the answer is 1 plus 3 the answer is 4 minus 1 with the index finger and the final value here is 3 let's clear it and type 3 followed by right arrow key on the keyboard question number 12 plus 3 the answer is 3 minus 2 the answer is 1 plus 1 the final value is 2 clear and type 2 question number 13 now plus 3 the answer is 3 plus 1 the answer is 4 minus 2 the answer is 2 this is the final value now clear and type 2 we have reached question number 14 now plus 2 the answer is 2 minus 2 the answer is 0 plus 3 the answer is 3 clear and type 3 question number 15 plus 2 the answer is 2 minus 2 the answer is 0 plus 4 the answer is 4 clear and type 4 question number 16 plus 1 the answer is 1 minus 1 the answer is 0 plus 4 and the answer is 4 clear and type 4 question number 17 plus 3 the answer is 3 plus 1 the answer is 4 minus 2 and the final value is 2 clear and type 2 question number 18 plus 4 the answer is 4 minus 3 the answer is 1 plus 1 the answer is 2 clear and type 2 question number 19 plus 4 the answer is 4 minus 2 the answer is 2 plus 2 the final value is 4 clear and type 4 Question number 20 plus 3 the answer is 3 minus 1 the answer is 2 minus 2 the answer is 0 type 0 and the answer is correct we have reached question number 21 now plus 4 
answer is 4 minus 3 the partial answer is 1 plus 2 the final answer is 3 clear and type 3 question number 22 plus 3 the answer is 3 minus 2 the answer is 1 plus 3 and the final value is 4 clear and type 4 question number 23 plus 2 the answer is 2 minus 1 the partial answer is 1 now and the final value to be added is plus 3 let's do plus 3 and the final answer is 4 clear and type 4 question number 24 plus 1 the answer is 1 plus 3 the answer is 4 minus 2 and the final value is 2 clear and type 2 question number 25 plus 1 the answer is 1 plus 2 the answer is 3 minus 1 the answer is 2 clear and type 2 question number 26 plus 3 the answer is 3 minus 2 the answer is 1 plus 2 and the final value is 3 clear and type 3 question number 27 plus 2 the answer is 2 minus 2 the answer is 0 plus 3 and the final result is 3 clear and type 3 question number 28 plus 2 the answer is 2 minus 2 the answer is 0 plus 4 the answer is 4 clear and type 4 question number 29 plus 4 the answer is 4 minus 3 the answer is 1 plus 1 the answer is 2 clear and type 2 question number 30 plus 1 the partial answer is 1 because only one bead is touching the beam minus 1 the answer is 0 plus 2 and the answer is 2 clear and type 2 question number 31 plus 2 the answer is 2 minus 2 the answer is 0 plus 3 the final result is 3 clear and type 3 question number 32 plus 2 the answer is 2 minus 2 the answer is 0 plus 4 the answer is 4 clear and type 4 Question number 33 plus 4 the answer is 4 minus 3 the answer is 1 plus 1 the final result is 2 clear and type 2. Question number 34 plus 1 the answer is 1 minus 1 the answer is 0 plus 2 the answer is 2 clear and type 2 question number 35 plus 3 the answer is 3 minus 3 the answer is 0 plus 4 the answer is 4 clear and type 4 question number 36 plus 3 the answer is 3 plus 1 the answer is 4 minus 2 the answer is 2 clear and type 2 question number 37 plus 4 the answer is 4 minus 3 the answer is 1 plus 2 the answer is 3 clear and type 3 question number 38 plus 3 the answer is 3 minus 2 
the partial answer is 1 plus 3 and the final answer is 4. Clear and type 4. We have reached question number 39. Plus 2, answer is 2. Minus 1, the answer is 1. Plus 3 and the final value is 4. Clear and type 4. This is question number 40 now. Plus 1, the answer is 1. Plus 3, the answer is 4. Minus 2, the answer is 2. Clear and type 2. Question number 41. Plus 1, the answer is 1. Plus 2, the answer is 3. Minus 1, and the final answer is 2. Clear and type 2. Question number 42. Plus 3, the answer is 3. Minus 2, the answer is 1. Plus 2, and the final value is 3. Clear and type 3. Question number 43. Plus 3, the answer is 3. Plus 1, the answer is 4 minus 2 and the answer is 2. Clear and type 2. Question number 44. Plus 1, the answer is 1. Plus 2, the answer is 3. Plus 1, the answer is 4. Clear and type 4. We have reached the last question of this worksheet because this worksheet contains only 45 questions. As you can see, the star time is already there on the left top corner. And as soon as we type in the last answer, we will have the end time as well. So let's solve the 45th question or the last question of the sheet. Plus 2, the answer is 2. Minus 1, the answer is 1. Plus 2 and the final result is 3. Clear and type 3. So as soon as I click the right arrow key on my keyboard, I will get the end time. Here it is. As you can see, the end time has appeared. And the total time I took was 15 minutes and 12 seconds. But I need to see my result. I need to analyze my result now. So I will go to the attempt mode. I will click this cell and you can see the downward pointing arrow. I will click this arrow and click show mode now. Alright, so this is the analysis of my performance. 45 correct answers with 100% accuracy and the pass percentage is greater than 95%. That's good. And my speed here was 2.96 questions per minute. Let's look at the record book now. The first record has been entered here. The sheet type, time taken, correct answers, total questions and all the data is here. Let's go back to the practice screen. So I need to attempt this sheet once again for uh, better performance. So I will go back to the show mode. Click the downward pointing arrow and select reset. All the answers have been cleared now. This sheet is ready to be solved again. So I will click the attempt mode and start solving the questions once again. Remember 10 records will make you a master and 20 records a wizard. <laughs>